light I want to bring up our father the vessel that God has prepared to bless our lives to change our seasons he is our father he is a prophet he is an evangelist can we bring up our father prophet Jesse Jankwa can you celebrate him Give the Lord a shout of praise. Give the President, Lord of us, have his ministry. Give the Lord of us, have his ministry. Hallelujah. We have you, Bangiji. Praise the Lord. What are you, Bangiji? Are you excited to be here tonight? Wherever you are under the sound of my voice, I want you to wave your hands to the Lord. I want you to give him glory tonight. Lift up your voice and praise him. Lift up your voice and worship him. Hosanna to the Lord in the highest. Hosanna Bless is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Father, we give you glory tonight. Because you have not asked the seeds of Jacob to seek you in vain. You have not called us to seek you in vain. Thank you for the anointing of your spirit tonight. Thank you for your angels that are over this field. Thank you for your power to save. To heal. To deliver. To restore and to bless. And so Lord we worship you tonight. We give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. While we are still standing for the next few minutes. I want to appreciate the Lord for the opportunity to see this day. And the honor to be his servants even to you tonight. I want to deeply appreciate all our fathers in the land. The, the Khan chairman. She can chairman. Reverend Timothy Daluk. Reverend Timothy Daluk. Together with the vice chairman, the treasurer, and all the leaders of Khan and PFN, and all the leaders of the various churches in the land, Anglican um, communion. So Anglican, we 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 have our pastors of cooking. Equa, Christ Holy Church, like Christ Holy Church, the Living Faith Church, like a Living Faith, and many other leaders in the land. To all the precious servants of God, we want to say thank you. We honor you for your labors in the gospel. Thank you for serving the flocks of God. Thank you for all that you do for the advancement of the kingdom of God in this land. And thank you for the right hand of fellowship that you gave us. We are deeply grateful. And we trust the Lord that these three days will be a Three days of open heaven for us. And the blessings of God are going to abound in this land. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As well as we go into the word of God. We want to pray. 
Father, thank you for this night. Thank you for this night of divine appointment with heaven. Thank you because your spirit is all over this field. We ask that you send for your word tonight. Let there be salvation. Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. Let there be supernatural intervention in the lives of your people. Let this land be visited. Let there be healing for this land. It is written that if the people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Lord, we ask for your healing. Let your healing power be released over Mangu. Let your healing power be released over this land. Let the hand of the enemy be removed from this land. Let there be total healing and restoration for the people. Let your glory come upon this land. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father. We give you glory and praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may please have your seat. Um, I also want to appreciate our dear brother and servant of God, Reverend Andrew of the Assemblies of God Church. Reverend Andrew, Assemblies of God. Thank you for being such a huge blessing. We appreciate your labor in this land and across. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. And every other ministers. So let's go into the word of God. If you have your Bible, you may open to Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53, let's read from verse 1. It said, who has believed our reports? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall go up before him as a tender plant. And as a root out of dry ground. He had no form, no comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. It says, for he is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. We hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and, he was, and we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did extreme him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone one according to his way and the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. May the Lord bless his word in the name of the Lord Jesus. Who was the prophet Isaiah speaking about? He was speaking about the lamp of God. He was speaking about Jesus, the son of the living God. He started by saying, who has believed our report? 
And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? It means every time we believe the report of God, the arm of the Lord will be revealed in our lives. Every time we believe the word of God, the power of God is demonstrated on our behalf. God does not walk outside of his word. Every time God wants to walk, he sends his word. Psalm 107 verse 20 tells us, that he sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them from their destruction. Every time God wants to walk, he sends his word. So the prophet said, Who has believed our report? Because to that person, the power of God will be made manifest. He said Jesus was like a tender plant. Breaking out of a dry ground. There was no beauty in him that when men saw him, they should desire him. He said the Son of God was despised and rejected of men. He walked as a man of sorrow. He was acquainted with grief. Is every one of us turned away our faces from him? But surely he had borne our grief. He carried all our infirmities. He carried all our affliction. He said, We all turned away our faces from him. For he was wounded for our transgression, he was bruised for our iniquity. The punishment required for our peace, God placed upon him. He said, By his stripes we were healed. He was speaking about Jesus, the Lamb of God, who was born to die. Who came into the world to lay down his life for sinners? He came to bear the sin of all humanity. The Bible in Romans chapter 3 verse 23 tells us that for all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. David in Psalm 51 verse 5 tells us that in sin did my mother conceive me. Everyone that was born into this world was born into sin. Everyone that was born was born with a sentence of death. The Bible tells us that the soul that sinned it shall die. I am Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4 tells us that. He said, The soul that see that he shall die. The Bible also tells us in Romans chapter 6, verse 23 that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is life eternal through Christ Jesus. So man, when man sinned against God in the Garden of Eden, by disobeying the word of God, and eating of the tree of, of the knowledge of good and evil, of which God has commanded that man should not eat, God told man in the day that you eat this tree, in dying, you shall surely die. Then the 
So when man partook of that sin and death came into this world. And so the Bible tells us that sin and death came into the first Adam. But righteousness and eternal life came through the last Adam, Jesus Christ. So Jesus came to pay the price for the sin of mankind. Yes, he has also me Pierre Zunubi one double tea. In John chapter 1, verse 29, when John saw Jesus coming, he said to the people, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus came to bear the sin of the whole world. And all of the consequences of sin. Sickness is the consequences of sin. Poverty came because of sin. Death came into the world because of sin. Witchcraft came into the world because of sin. All of the demonic oppression we see came in because of sin. So Jesus came to destroy the power of sin. The Bible in 1 John chapter 3 verse 8 tells us. It says he that sins is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. But for this purpose the son of God was made manifest. That he may destroy the works of the devil. Satan was the originator of sin. What do you believe in a far comfort? Sin. Sin a baba nazunubi. He is also the father of sinners. What do you believe in a baba namazu? I can't nazunubi. But the Bible tells us why Jesus came. Ama uban gizi yagen. He came to destroy the works of the devil. What is the work of the devil? Sin. What is the work of the devil? Sickness. What is the work of the devil? Bondage. Death. Poverty. Oppression. Wickedness. All of these things and much more. They are the works of the devil. And the Bible tells us. That Jesus came to destroy all the works of the devil. He came to break the works of the devil. that God has called you to be. So every form of bondage that Satan brought into your life. God wants you to be free. The Bible says whosoever the son of man set free is free indeed. Satan is the one who binds men. He binds men with sin and iniquity. He binds men with sickness and diseases. He binds people with poverty. He binds people with death and witchcraft powers. He binds people with all kinds of wickedness. But Jesus came so that you can be free. Free to serve God. Free to fulfill the will of God. He said you shall know the truth and the the truth shall make you free. Today we are preaching the truth of the word of God. So that you can believe the word of God. Remember our opening scriptures. 
Kutuna da bude na he said who has believed our report to him the hand of the Lord will be revealed tonight I want you to believe the report of God that Jesus has paid the price to save you from sin to save you from sickness to save you from demonic oppression to save you from every chain of bondage he paid the price for you that if you believe in his word tonight the chains will be broken tonight the chains will be broken maybe you have been known around town to be a drunk Maybe he has bound you with chains of drunkenness. Maybe chains of fornication. There was the story of a man told in Mark chapter 5. We refer to him as the madman of gathering. He was bound by demons in tombs. And to sketch what a couple of Bible says, he had stones in his hand with which he was cutting himself. He was bound by demons. They could not hold him with chains and fetters. If they hold him with chains and fetters, he will break those chains. Satan put stone in his hand by which he was using to destroy himself. There are some of you here, young men and young women. Satan has given you a stone to destroy your life. That stone of drunkenness. That stone of taking drugs. That stone of fornication. Of Indian M. Every form of addiction. Maybe you are here, Satan has given you stone and you are using it to destroy your life. Maybe you have taken so much ghost color until your liver is being destroyed. There are some of you, God has called you to a glorious life. But you have been bound by drugs. You have been bound by fornication. You have been bound by all kinds of reproach. Today Jesus wants to set you free. Young man and young woman. Jesus wants to give you a new life. The Bible said for that young man that was bound at the graveside. When he encountered Jesus, he was delivered. The chains were broken. The fetters were broken. All the legions of demons were cast out. And the Bible said he went for the preach the gospel in Decapolis Decapolis means 10 cities that means in his destiny he was supposed to be a messenger of God to 10 cities proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God but he was bound by demons. He was bound by legions, thousands of demons. The day he encountered Jesus, those chains of bondages were broken. And his true destiny was released. There are some of you that have been bound by chains. Today, Jesus wants to set you free. So that he can release you into your destiny. There are some of you, young men and young women. 
The deliverance of many lands are on your shoulder. The blessings of many lands are depending on you. If only tonight you will rebel against the devil. And say, I'm tired of being bound by drugs. I'm tired of being bound by sin. I'm tired of alcohol. Whether it's Goskolo, I am tired. Whether it is stealing, say I am tired. And God will give you a new life. God will give you a new beginning. There is nothing to gain with standing with Satan. John chapter 10 verse 10 tells us He said the thief come here but to steal, to kill and to destroy Jesus said but I have come that you may have life And I have come that So the assignment of Satan in your life Is to steal from you Is to kill you is to destroy you. Is to destroy your destiny. Is to destroy all that you have. But tonight Jesus is offering you a new life. An abundant life. And a life that is far above sin. A life that is far above oppression and bondage. That's the life that Jesus is offering you. Somebody may say, I am not into drug and alcoholism. But you are bound by all kinds of sin. Yours may be hatred. Yours may be bitterness. Whatever the sin is, Jesus will save you. He wants to give you a new life. He wants to deliver you from yourself. He wants to give you a new beginning. He wants to be the center of your life. He wants to give your life a meaning. He wants to bring you to the best that, that Jesus can give you. Maybe you are bound by sickness. Bound by disease. Tonight Jesus wants to heal you. In Luke chapter 13 from verse 10. Luke chapter 13 from verse 10. The Bible tells us the story of a woman that was in the temple. She was a daughter of Abraham, but she was bound by demons. And the Bible said, while Jesus was teaching, he saw her. She had been bowed down for 18 years. And Jesus said, Woman, you are loose from thy infirmity. He laid his hand upon her and she stood up healed. She stood up upright. And when the Pharisees began to complain and murmur, Jesus said, Ought not this woman being the daughter of Abraham? Whom Satan has bound be loose from this bondage. So that moment she was free. When you read through the scripture, you will see that there are all kinds of chains with whom, with which Satan used to bind people. And I tell you, Jesus came to set the captives free. Isaiah chapter 61 tells us. He said the spirit of the Lord is upon me Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor He has sent me to heal the broken hearted To proclaim liberty to the captives And the opening of the prison to them that are bound 
Kwa comfort day that morning Zion. In karfa fa wanda suna wahala da kuma kuka a Zion. To give the beauty for ashes. In basu kyau domin wata the oil of joy for morning. May na murna madadin the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Riga na dauka kada na yabo madadin na tsuguni. That they should be called trees of righteousness. Me across to eat at na adalci. The plantings of the Lord. Wato wanda aka shuka suna ubangiji that in them god may be glorified ta gurin su ubangiji zai samu dauka ka we see jesus reading that in luke chapter 4 mun gano ubangiji ya nuna wancan kuma cikin littafin as a fulfillment of the luke sura 4 isaia the prophet wato cikin kalman nan daga cikin littafin ishaya so jesus came to preach the good news to the poor ubangiji ya zo domin alfishiri mai kyau ma talakawa say to the poor you do not need to die in your poverty kace ya ce ma talaka be kamata ka mutu a cikin talaucin ka ba he came to preach healing to those that are afflicted ya zo yi shela na warkasuwa ga wanda suna rashin lafiya da cududuka to say that god's will for you is healing da ce wa shirin ubangiji domin ka shine warkasuwa he came to proclaim deliverance to the captives ya zo da mai yi shela na yanta suwa ga dauraru I am telling you tonight deliverance has come. In a gaya mana tare na yanta su ya zo. Tonight healing has come. Warka su ya zo. Tonight salvation has come. Ya uce to ya zo. Tonight the power of God is here to set men free. Adara na ikon ubangiji yana nan to me ya yanta sa mutanen sa. I see the power of God breaking chains from the lives of people. Akan ikon ubangiji yana sisin ke sarkuna daga rayuwar mutane. Tonight Jesus wants to give people a new life. Ya adara na Yesu yana so ya ba ma mutan da ta ma sabon rai. If you came here sick tonight get ready to be healed. Idan ka zo nan da rashin lafiya ka yi shiri zaka samu warkarwa. If you came here bound get ready to be set free. Idan ka zo nan asare ko kuma daurare na shetan If you are bound with sin and iniquity, it don't know the kind of sin you be the kuma I can shed on. Tonight is a night of salvation. Yehovah, during Chetoni, the Bible said today is a day of salvation. Litafi yeche yehovah rana Chetoni. If you hear the voice of God, do not harden your heart. Zam kun chimuri yang ubanke jikar kutaura rezuka tangu. Because we may not have this opportunity tomorrow again. May you have baraka kara samu irun wana ntama bagobe. Because there is nothing to gain in this world. Domen ba wane apunda zaka samu wana ntumi. The Bible says, What shall he profit a man? Yeche meze riba chemu tu. If he gains the whole world and loses his soul. Then can some take a dunia na kuma ka rasaran. What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Me na mutunze bayar amada de ransa. I want to let you know ina so in tabbata da ku da cewa that if you have not given your heart to Jesus. Da cewa idan baka karba Yesu ya zama ubangiji da mai ceto ka. Today is a day of opportunity for you. Yau fa wata dama ne da kuma sarafi mai kyau. Don't let the devil lie to you. Kar ka bar shetan yayi maka kariya. The Bible said God for God so loved the world. Ya ce kama Allah ya yi kaunan duniya. That he gave his only begotten son. Ya aiko da maka da cin dan sa ai bai ci kada. Those who believe in him should not perish. Domin duk wanda ya ba da gaskiya gare shi ba da ya kafa life. kuma zai samu rai na har abada for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world to men allah ba yake da a cikin duniya ya halaka duniya ba the world through him might be saved amma duniya ta gurin sa su samu ceto jesus came to seek and to save the lost yes ya zo ya neme ba ta tu domin ya riba ta su the reason why jesus came kuna dalilin da yesu ya zo cikin duniya because if you close your eyes in death today to me idan ka mutu a yau You are going to give an account of your life. Saka bada saka makon rayuwanka. The Bible says it is appointed unto a man to die once and after then his judgment. Litafi ace an shirya ma mutun ne mutu so daya bayan wannan sai shirya. Every one of us the moment you close your eyes in death. Dika ma nan gurin ita zara ka rufe ita nuka mutuwa. What follows after then is judgment. Abun da yake bi shi ne saka mako. And what will matter if you close your eyes in death? kuma abun da yana da muhimmanci idan ka mutu shine is a decision you made in time wato shawaran da ka dauka a duniyar nan ne and this is the reason why we came all the way shi yasa mun kasance a nan gurin because god's will is for that no man be lost shirin ubangiji shine kada wani ya lalace he doesn't want anyone to perish ba ya son wani ya halaka but for all to come to salvation amma duka su samu ceto there is a place called heaven akwai gurin da ana kiran shi sama there is a place called hell kuma akwai jahannama 
There are many people in hell right now. Not because God did not make a way of escape for them. But because they rejected the love of God. They rejected the salvation of God. They choose to follow the pleasures of sin. They choose to follow the world. Wherever you are under the sound of my voice And you have not made a decision for Jesus Tonight Jesus is calling you He wants to wash away your sins He wants to give you a new life He calls you to repent of your sin To turn away from your sin And to receive him as your as your personal savior as your lord and savior then you will receive his gift of righteousness and a new life and a new life a life that can never be destroyed a life that is precious from God in heaven before we begin to pray for the sick and pray for deliverance tonight. Heaven is placing a call tonight. If you know you have not made Jesus the Lord of your life. You are bound in sin. You are not walking the righteousness of God. It is because of you that Jesus came. Even if you were the only sinner in the world, Jesus will still have come for you. Tonight, I want you to make a decision. To say, I am tired of sin. I am tired of being a slave of Satan. I am tired of the chains of sin and wickedness. I want to lay my life for Jesus. I want to receive his gift of righteousness. I want to be born again. I want to be a child of God. Wherever you are today, Jesus wants to save you. He wants to bring you out of that captivity. Every sinner is a captive of Satan. Every sinner is a prisoner of Satan. Waiting for the day of execution in hell. But Jesus has come to give us a new life. So wherever you are, you want to say I'm tired of sin I want to give my life to Jesus I want my name to be written in the book of life I want to be delivered from the judgment of God to come because every time men reject the love of God they will experience the judgment of God when they die in their sin they will go to hell Hell was not made for man, it was made for Satan and his demons. But every time you reject the love of God, you have simply said, I have chosen to partner with Satan. And Jesus will be weeping because your soul is hanging on the balance. You want to give your heart to Jesus? You want your sins to be washed away. You want to put on the garment of righteousness. And become a child of God. Wherever you are. I want you to raise your hands up. Don't be ashamed. Jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men. I'll be ashamed of you before my heavenly father. You want to say, Jesus, I surrender my life to you. You may even have been born in a Christian home. 
But you have not known the joy of salvation. You want to be born again. Wherever you are, raise your hands up. And stand on your feet. I want you to stand on your feet. And come to the front. And say, I'm not ashamed of Jesus. Jesus, forgive me my sins. Wash me by your blood. Wash me by your blood. Give me a new life. I am tired of sin. I am tired of being a captive of sin. I want to give my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, I want you to come to the front. Come to the front. There are some of you young men. Young women. Old men. Old women. You are not giving your heart to Jesus. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Run to the front. Run for salvation. There are more of you you need to make that decision tonight. Some of the young men standing at the back. Today is a day of salvation. Do not reject this opportunity. Jesus is calling you. He wants to give you a new life. The Bible said there is joy before the angels in heaven. When a sinner gets born again, there is joy in heaven. Because God is giving you the gift of eternal life. And you will never perish. You will never perish. Thank you, Father. There are still some of you at the back coming. I want you to be bold. Be bold. Young man and young lady, be bold. Be bold at the back. Come to Jesus. Push away that drugs. Turn away from alcohol. Turn away from fornication. Turn away from stealing. And give your heart to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you see what Jesus is doing? Some of you may look and say, ah, some of them are just children. Jesus said, allow the little children to come to me. For such is the kingdom of God. There are some of you in your families. Children are the witches and the wizards tormenting you. They are children but Satan is using them. Satan will not say they are little children. Many of you here, God will use you. You will become the light of God to your world. I want you to lift up your right hand. And put your left hand on your heart. On your chest. You are going to pray this prayer with me a minute from the depth of your heart. You are going to say, Lord Jesus, I come to you this day acknowledging that I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sin. I repent of my sin. Have mercy upon me. Wash me by your blood. Wash me by your blood. I believe in my heart that Jesus will die for my sin. You were buried and on the third day you rose from the dead. To give me eternal life. Today, I receive you Jesus. I receive you into my heart. I receive your eternal life into my heart. Today, I am born again. I am a child of God. I will follow Jesus. I will serve Jesus for the rest of my life. I come back from sin. I come back from Satan. 
I turn back from the wall. I am a child of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for giving me a new life. I am born again. In Jesus' name. I want you to know that you have made the best decision ever. That as you continue with Jesus, if Jesus tarries and he calls you home, you will spend eternity with him. Amen. Amen. I want you to know that from today, you are a child of God. You are born again. You have received the gift of eternal life. Amen. Thank you, Father, for this harvest. Come and celebrate the Lord wherever we are. No man comes to the Father except the Father draws him. Hallelujah. Tonight, before we begin to pray for the sick, and we have our counselors getting ready to receive you, we have such a great, great harvest tonight. I want, I want please, the children to go this way to my right hand, and the adults to come to the left. So that we can get their details easily. Okay, the adults stay to my left. So that our counselors can take your details. And our pastors, our fathers are here. We'll get your names and your details and give it to them. So that they can follow you up. Hallelujah. There are still some adults. Can you please go this way, the adults? The adults, please this way. Hallelujah. We have such a great harvest tonight. Please, if you are a church worker in your local church and you are in the congregation, Please, because of time, so that we can close in good time tonight, we want you to please join the counselors. So that we can get the details very fast. Please help us. Please help us. You are a choir member, you are a youth member, you belong to a local church. Please join them so that we can get their name very fast. Hallelujah. I want us to just worship the Lord. I want us to worship the Lord for the next five minutes. As our counselors are taking the names. And then we can begin to pray for the sick. I assure, I assure you tomorrow we will start very early. We had some technical issues. We didn't intend to keep you late tonight. So please bear with us. So we just take the worship and we pray for the sick and your prayers. And I tell you, the power of God is mighty over this place. Amen. So, can you please lead us in worship for the next? Let your glory be above all the earth. Let thy glory be above all the Let thy glory. 
They cry out to God. He saved them from the pits. He brought them out of darkness and the shadows of death. He brought them into a chains into pieces. For he has broken the gates of brass. He has brought the bars of iron asunder. The Bible says he sent his word. And he let them and deliver them from their destruction. Maybe you want to cry out to God like blind Bartimaeus. And say, I am tired of this sickness. I am tired of this affliction. In one minute, heaven wants to hear you. I am tired of this blindness. You are tired of being crippled. You are tired of that blood disease. That deafness. Whatever devil that is afflicting your body. That is afflicting your children. Tonight is a night of deliverance. It's a night of healing. Wherever you are now. And you want to receive God's healing thoughts. I want you to put your hands wherever you are having that pain wherever that sickness is that disease if you are blind put your hands on your eyes if you have eye problem put your hand on your eyes if you have a child or someone close to you that is deaf put your hand in their ear or maybe you are deaf in one ear put your finger in the ear if it's your heart put your hand there in case you cannot walk put your hand on your limbs if it's a place that you cannot touch just put your hand on your heart God's healing power is here now angels of healing are here now the power of God is all over this field and therefore right now in the name of Jesus I command you devil of affliction you spirit of infirmity lose them now lose them now in the name of Jesus I command you devil of infirmity you spirit of infirmity come out of their bodies come out of their bodies blind in spirits come out of the eyes I command your eyes be healed blind eyes be open blind eyes be healed in the name of Jesus long sightedness be healed short sightedness be healed myopia be healed glaucoma come out you can't look into the light I command your eyes be healed. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Deaf ears be open. New deafening spirits come out. Come out of their ears. Come out of their ears. Every ear in impediment go. Come out in Jesus' name. Yes, we heal. Right now in the name of Jesus. High blood pressure be healed. Diabetes be healed. Hepatitis come out of their body. Arthritis come out of their bones. Rheumatism come out. Conditions be gone. Reputation be gone. Kidney problem be healed. Let your kidney be healed. Livers be healed. 
Every sickness in your body, I command them to come out. All sickness come out of their bodies. Pains in the bones come out. Every disease in your blood, HIV, come out. Blood be healed now. Every pain from accident be healed. Maybe you had an accident, you couldn't walk well. May you a cast and command that lameness be healed. You spirit of paralysis out of their bodies. Stroke come out of their bodies. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed. Lungs, growth, cancer, tumors come out of their bodies. Dissolve right now. And come out in the name of Jesus. Every sickness afflicting your mind. Every mental affliction. Break right now. Break right now. Yes. The healing power of God is moving. The healing power of God is moving. In the name of Jesus. Deliverance is going on right now. That devil is coming out of your body. New spirit of epilepsy. Come out of that body. Come out of that body. Come out of that body. Every devil tormenting your mind. Tormenting your lungs. Every breathing problem. Go. 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 Be in the name of Jesus. Yes, the power of God is moving. The power of God is slowing. Begin to check your body. That pain is living now. Begin to check your body. If you came with a walking cane, or a crutch. I want you to lift it up right now. The healing power of God is upon you. If you want to walk, raise that cane now. Raise that now. I release the miracle power of God into your bones, into your lower back, into your spinal cord. Into your hip bone, the knee, the ankle, be healed right now. Whenever you are, raise the cane, raise the crutches, and begin to walk. Begin to walk. The miracle power of God is on you. My God, I walk. 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 You are healed already. You are healed already. You are healed already. Walk right now. As you walk, the power of God is flowing to you. Praise is flowing to you. Oh yes. 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 Check everywhere. Duba. The pains are leaving your bodies right now. Check everywhere. Duba. If you came with somebody that was paralyzed. If you came with somebody that could not walk. Raise them up. Walk in the name of Jesus. Walk in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are. Maybe they were bound by stroke and paralysis. May you Right now. Begin to walk. Begin to walk. Begin to walk. The healing power. The healing power. Of God is here. Yes. There is another woman I'm seeing somewhere with partial stroke. 
Partial paralysis. The power of God has come upon you. Wherever they are, help her to walk now. Raise her up. Let her walk. Because the healing power of God is here. The healing power of God is here. I want you to check yourself. Maybe you were deaf in one year or both years. And now you can hear. I want you to come out. Because I see God has opened someone's ear. I want you to come out. Maybe you came with somebody that was deaf and now the person can hear. You want to see you. You came with the pain. And now the pain is gone. You found that you have been healed. Do not be ashamed. Everywhere you are, raise your hand if you are healed. You found that you have been healed. Can you see all the hands? I want you to be bold to come forward. You confirm you have been healed. Come forward. Just come. That pain around your knee has gone. I want you to come. You find out your eyes you can see. Come. Your ears can hear. Come. You find that that pain around your lower back has gone. Your heartbeat has been restored. Come. If you can confirm your healing. Don't delay, come. Don't let the devil deceive you and lie to you. You are already healed. Be bold, you are already healed. I see ears that Jesus has opened tonight. I see eyes that have been healed tonight. There is a lady you found out. A growth in your breast has dissolved. Come out quickly. Growth around your stomach, you, you can't touch it anymore. Come out. All you came with somebody that was mentally deranged. Now the person was sad. Hallelujah. 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 This brother here with the crutches, come. So that was all. Come. Give me the crutches. I want you to walk. Give me the crutches. What is happening to you right now? Do you feel any pain? Said he does not have any pain. He's not feeling any pain. You are not feeling any pain. What happened to you? He had an accident and that's what resulted to this. He had an accident since when? This is over one year. Over one year he had an accident. Yes, sir. I want you to raise the leg. Raise that leg. Raise that leg. Raise that leg. Do you feel any pain? Do like this. Do like this. Like this. Like this. Do you feel any pain? He said, sir, he is not feeling any pain. So I want you to run this way and come back. Walk like this and come back. Can you celebrate Jesus? He had an accident over a year ago. And now he can walk. Now he can walk. Now he can walk. Look at me, my brother. How do you feel? Tell us how you feel. Better. I feel okay. Are you happy about what Jesus has done? Yes, I'm happy. Do like this. Do your legs like this. Do like this. Do like this. You are healed. Your healing is permanent. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare total and perfect healing to you this day. In the name of Jesus Christ. So if you have loved ones that are bound, that are using crutches, that are using walking canes, that are paralyzed and lame, I want you to bring them tomorrow. The healing Jesus is here. Can you celebrate Jesus? 
So that mama, there was a mama who walked out with, with him. There was a woman. Can you please extract her testimony? Okay, please, can we have some of the pastors? Barnabas, please, let's be fast. Just take some of their testimony. Tony, let's do that very Sir, fast. Sir, there's a testimony here. Okay. She said she came here with pains on her leg. She was finding it very difficult to walk. But as she prayed, the power of God came upon her. And she's feeling better. She's feeling fine and healthy right now. Mama, do like this. March for Jesus. March for Jesus. March for Jesus. So what happened to her? She had stroke or paralysis. She has a partial stroke. She had a partial stroke. And she could not walk like this. Yes. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Mama, stretch your hand towards me. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I release your power into our body. Let there be perfection right now. Perfection right now. In the name of Jesus. I command every symptoms of stroke and paralysis be gone. Come out of her totally. Be free. In the name of Jesus, you are made whole. Amen. Mama, could you raise this hand? One hand. Ask her if she was able to raise the hand before now. Before she could not raise the hand. Raise your hand high. Thank you, Father. Can you see? Mama had partial paralysis. She couldn't raise the hand. Do the hand like this. Kishiaka. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Give Jesus a praise. Mama, your healing is permanent. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So Sir, there's a you. testimony here. Amen. This sister came. For this crusade, she had pains from her laps downward. But right now, as you prayed, the hand of God came upon her. And all the pains disappeared. She came with the pains to this crusade ground. Right now, the pain has vanished. Can you give Jesus praise? Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. So there's another testimony here. She, ha she came with back pain and her chest. And as you prayed, the power of God came upon her. And she's totally free. There's no pain again. Mama, bend like this. Do this. Do you feel any pain? Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to check for the person with a deaf ear. Who came with a deaf ear? The person whose ear had been open. Who can hear properly with the ear? Wherever the person is, I want to take that testimony. Can we do it? Just check them. Tony, Barnabas, Prince Will, can you guys do that very fast? So tell us quickly. She has been having pains as a result of kidney and liver um, issues since 2019. But at the instance of the word, every pain vanished completely and she's whole. I declare in the name of Jesus that your kidney and your livers are healed totally. No more pain. That disease is gone. Your kidney and liver function is perfected in the name of Jesus. Look at me, mama. In the name of Jesus, you are healed and you are free. Can you celebrate Jesus for this testimony? It's a testimony here, Papa. He came here with waist pain. But as you spoke the word, the power of God came upon him and he's totally free. There's no pain again. All pains disappear to the glory of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you celebrate Jesus for this healing? I'd like you to do what you could not do before. Do what you couldn't do before. You couldn't bend like this. Oh, young man. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. So she came with chest pain. And as you spoke the word, the chest pain suddenly disappeared and she's now whole to the glory of God. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Can we celebrate Jesus? Celebrate Jesus. Baba came with an eye issue. But as you spoke the word, he's feeling better. He could see better. He can see better right now. To 
the glory of God. Baba, Baba, put your hand on your eyes. I declare total healing in the name of Jesus. I declare that your vision are restored. Your eyes are perfected. Begin to see clearly and holy in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Baba, check it. Check it. Check it. So check another person. Let's be fast. For the Baba, past, your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. For the past one year, he has been having back pains. He could not bend down. There are many things he could not do. But at the declaration of the word, he was made whole. And he could bend down and do the very things that he could do not do. Do what you again. couldn't do before, my brother. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Okay, so can we take a few more? So just take some of the testimonies that we need to hear. Just some of the testimonies we need to hear this night. Okay, our mommy here has a testimony. Okay. She said that there's something that moves from here to her head. She, don't, she, she couldn't understand herself for a long time. But as you declare the word, she receives her healing and she's free. And that's why she's here to return all glory to God. Can we give Jesus praise? Mommy, your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Sir, this is for Moon's mother. Oh, mommy, it's good to see you, doc. Yes, she's had waist pain for a while. She said, as you declared the word, she felt like the pains was coming out from her waist. And then she, she, she can no longer feel the pains again. Mommy, your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. Can we celebrate Jesus for her? Amen and amen. Okay, let's take two more and then we'll just pray and close for today because of our time. There's a testimony here, sir. Yeah. Mama came with chest pain. And as she spoke the word, she received her healing. She's feeling ease right now to the glory of God. Amen and amen. Because of time, we can't take everybody. We'll just close now. Some of you, as you go home, you'll find that your healing is perfected. We want to share, we want to receive your testimony. There are some of you that God is perfecting your hearing, your eyesight. You need to share your testimony tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Every one of you will declare your healings are permanent. As you go, your healings are permanent in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you excited about tonight? I'm telling you tomorrow, go bring the blind, the deaf, the lame, the crippled, and this same Jesus will be here healing and setting many free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Tomorrow, we're going to have more time. We will start very early. We'll be able to pray over our families, pray over our land, pray over every issue that needs to be addressed by the power of God. There are some people that demons will need to come out of them by tomorrow. Hallelujah. But because of our time, we will just close now. Wherever you are, can you lift up your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the salvation. Thank you for the healings. Thank you for the deliverance. We give you glory. We give you praise. We honor you, Father. We declare that every healing is permanent. We declare that every soul saved is preserved unto the coming of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Before we go, I want to pass an announcement. Um, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. we'll be having... Okay, tomorrow, um, listen to me at 9 a.m. For the first 100 to 200 people, for the first 100 to 200 people that will come, will be attending to you from 9 a.m. We'll be carrying out a medical outreach. Um, there'll be our doctors will be here. Some of them are here. Some of them are coming very early in the morning from the city of Jos. We're going to have time to check particularly the older and the elderly people our doctors will be here to check you um, check the, your high your blood pressure check sugar level and do all of the basic tests and give some medication and prescription for some of you hallelujah and even for the young the children we will see how we can deworm them and minister to them our team of doctors will be here but we know that we have a huge crowd so we are going to be me attending to the at least the first 200 people especially we are going to give priority to the older people is that okay 
So by 9 a.m. we'll be here for that tomorrow morning. And then the crusade continues at 4.30 p.m. The crusade continues. We're going to be up to preach tomorrow so we can pray and minister. And then we will close in good time tomorrow. So please invite. Abunda yana fadana nguri nshine go beda salve karfe tara. Akwe doktor chiko kumaliki tochu wandadasu zona nguri. Wandadasu kulada mutani. Most especially Suda Tibe. Wadasofo vike nan. Na kumayara. Ayara za dambasu magari na tusta nchiki. Na kumasofo vike. Za duba hawanchini su. Na kumaza basu wesu magangkuna. Mutani na parko wandazasu zogo be. Na ribiu za diya kudada su. So edankana song adubeka ka eko kari ka zona mgure nda sauri. Karife tara na safe gobe za afara. Kuma gobe tarumu na ya ma karife hudune da mente talatin. Mwiko kari do umu kesa nche akal loka chi. And um, tomorrow we are going to have more cheers. We, we had a challenge today with the cheers, but we are going to have more cheers tomorrow. So invite your friends, your family, your loved ones. Bring the seed from all over Mangu and even beyond. And Jesus will attend to you. Amen. Gobe kuma Allah ya da wanda monsea siye kuye hakuri. Gobe za kara kujerudo mumu samu mazaune tikamu. Kuje bayan kumkoma yow. Kukao mara lapia. Kukao na uraru. Kukao guragu. Kukao makafai. Na tuka mara lapia. Upengiti ya na nande iko saye warkadesu. Wherever you are I want you to stand as we close. Tukurende kuche kutasha siye do manza murufe wana ntaro. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare your blessing over your people. For every soul saved today, they are preserved Amen. unto the coming of the Lord Jesus. Amen. We declare for everyone that was touched today, their healing is permanent. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we declare miraculous deliverance and interventions for family tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And fathers, we continue tomorrow. We thank you for your mighty power over this land. We thank you because you have come to bring deliverance to Mangu and affliction shall not rise again. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I will speak over the land. We declare the blessings of God. Amen. We declare the presence of God over your land. Amen. We bless every family. Amen. We bless every family. Amen. We declare that witchcraft, power, and satanic bondages are broken. Amen. We declare prosperity to your land. Amen. We declare deliverance to your land. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. As you go, the Lord go with you. Amen. And you will receive a greater testimony tomorrow. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you as our missions director come to give us the last remark. Hallelujah! Can you celebrate Jesus? Can you celebrate Jesus? Amen! So this is the announcement I want to pass across. Tomorrow if you are in need of counseling, if you gave your life to Christ today, and you are in need of counseling. You will be coming. Pastor Chimu, Susaduda Kegobe. We will be here by 9 a.m. to attend to you. If you need deliverance, if you need deliverance, come here by 9. And Jesus will meet you. Yes, Sukumaza Thank you so much and God bless you. Good night. Say the Thank you for listening to the